Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is going to be a base destruction video. Have an interesting base we're taking a look at. Uh, took five attacks to three star it, so whenever we have something like that happen, uh, definitely worth taking a look at why. And uh, we'll be taking a look at all the attacks, not drawing anything out uh, for sake of time as well as it's just not necessary. I think I can kind of talk through it. So some of the base destruction I draw it out, but not this one. And uh, we'll get into that action in just a moment. But first, quick kind of uh, channel update. I uh, haven't had as many uploads recently. Been pretty busy with stuff and that might be, you know, continuing over the next few weeks. But I'll do my best to, especially on the weekends, keep up with the uploads. Um, we'll have a lot of fresh content from the first clan challenge for the league uh, that we're in coming up this weekend, uh, which is actually on Sunday, is War Day. So it should be a ton of fun, should have a ton of great content coming from that war uh, because... Well, essentially, uh, it's going to be very competitive. The all clans in the league are very competitive war clans, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm in the war myself, I believe, so uh, that will be fun to both compete in and cover on the channel here. Uh, one last thing for tomorrow, which is Saturday as of now, uh, I am going to be at homecoming, so I might not have a video. Probably not. I'd be surprised if I did. So just in case you're wondering for tomorrow... Uh, on Saturday if you don't see me on the channel. That's why. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video because today we have to uh, take a look at this base and see why it was so successful. Just taking a look at it, um, and the first attacker is going to do a La Luna attack. I'll go ahead and zoom in because I, some people have been saying, especially on the, I, I guess if you're on your phone watching the video, it can be kind of hard to see uh, what's going on if, uh, if I'm completely zoomed out. So I'll do my best to keep that in mind. But basically this base, I mean, it has the queen in the middle. It's kind of setting itself up for a La Luna attack, you might think. But we'll talk a little bit about why that might not be the best strategy. So you can see that level 6 uh, dragon in the CC coming out along with a few balloons. The dragon is pretty strong at level 6. Uh, it takes the queen a while to get through, especially with some balloons in there, causing some distraction. Also does quite a bit of damage. So what happens is the king actually goes down, uh, does take out the defensive queen plus one of the air defenses, but I don't believe he gets that third air defense taken out. The skelly traps also kind of complicate things. But anyway, comes in here with the La Loon part of the attack. Uh, comes with those first two air defenses. Hits a few seeking air mines, but everything's kind of going okay. The balloons are going to take a while to get in there. So the Lava Hounds are taking a decent amount of damage, but these air defenses actually aren't maxed. So that's something to keep in mind is that um, even without maxed air defenses, it can be tough to take out these bases. Now, this is the first attack, so he doesn't know there's a Tesla farm there. Um, and he should have deployed that Lava Hound on the bottom uh, air defense, the one that the, is near the Teslas. But I guess he thought that the, he had enough Lava Hounds left up that he didn't need to. Either way, though, uh, the balloons all died to that air defense in the Tesla farm because there was so much damage there. And from there, the attack kind of falls apart. So... Just to kind of, you know, to take a step back and talking about the base again, when you have the queen in the middle of the base with the four air defenses surrounding her, La Lune can be a good option, but for a base like this where things are under upgraded, especially looking at the archer towers, the cannons, that point defense, you, if you have level 30 heroes, it's very hard to fail with Valks, with Pekkas, you know, we talked about before the Valk, Pekka, Healer, uh, Rage combination. That is so powerful. Uh, at Town Hall 9, there's so much DPS involved, um, as well as hit points. It's a lot for the, the base to have to get through. Uh, you can kind of overpower the base. doesn't have to be the slickest plan. So keeping that in mind, we're going to go ahead and kind of scroll down real quick to the... Uh, the next attack, um, and this one is by Norlo, and he also is coming in with a La Luna attack, but once again, not going to work out. And one thing to keep in mind as we go through these attacks, uh, you'll see, I think the first four attackers all do an air composition. If you've seen, I'd say even two attackers uh, who've done the same thing and it's failed, that should be a, a huge red flag. Uh, think of you know a new strategy. Take a look at the base in a fresh way. And sometimes the plan just needs to be tweaked. But so far on that first attack, um, didn't see a whole lot of uh, things that could have been tweaked for the three star. The plan was okay, but it wasn't like it was a 95, 96, you know, 99% where it's like okay, one small change you're gonna get the three star. So keep that in mind as you're doing your attacks. You know what 
what, what happened to the base and uh, is that strategy not going to be as good based on the first attack? Anyway, though, the bowler funneling wasn't quite there. Um, I guess the funneling in general because the king also walks along with the bowlers. Uh, the queen does go in, but because of uh, no tanks really uh, and no other DPS helping her out, she'll go down pretty quickly. Only gets one air defense. I believe he gets a dent in the queen um, and she will go down to some lava pups, I think, later on. But for the most part, she's going to be up doing damage to at least the first Lava Hound. Uh, the King and the Boulders will go down eventually as they continue to walk around the base. From here, he just kind of deploys his Lava Hounds and Balloons. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can get lucky. We'll take a look at how it went. Um, just waiting for him to do that. I guess he kind of takes a second, which is fine, to analyze what's going on. Uh, how he wants to go about doing this. Let the King keep working. Uh, the Boulders as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward just a little bit and then boom. Here comes the Lava Hound. Here comes the Balloons. Uh, just kind of making his way into the base here. Deployment is pretty good for the most part. There's that next Lava Hound coming into tank as soon as the first one explodes. And I believe that second one tanks so the Lava Pups do take out the Queen. Uh, has that rage to keep the balloons moving through into that first air defense, taking it out. The bowlers and the king by now have gone down. Uh, that last lava hound making its way over. Just not enough tanking. He was hoping to get two air defenses taken out, which he doesn't. Um, had the left balloons left up, but that air defense is going to be the issue. And uh, you can see the expo, also kind of a speed bump because it has so much... Uh, so many hit points that the balloons have to take a while to go through it. A few traps, and it's not going to work out. Very close to a three-star. Nice plan. Uh, it is hard with the low-level heroes to do a um, to do a lot of loon attack, especially if you can't get your bowlers inside the base because there's not a lot of DPS. It's just really the queen and the king, and even so, the king didn't go in the base for him, so uh, didn't have much. Uh, going into the base, didn't bite off a big enough piece with, with his kill squad, and because of that, didn't get the three star. So, okay, uh, moving along, uh, let's see here. The next one is by uh, World Beater, and you know, once again, look at the composition starting to get a little bit redundant. Uh, gotta think of something fresh eventually. I mean, nothing against these guys, I think that the um, the plans all could have worked. I mean, it wasn't like, okay, this plan's, you know, garbage, it'll never work. The plans all had potential, but just taking a look at the statistics, you know, you've seen two people do this attack strategy from different sides of the base. You have to, you know, think, you know, what are the odds this is going to, you know, get the three star versus trying a new strategy that might be able to uh, to get the job done. And on the, the other argument is that, you know, now you know where the air traps are. You, the base has kind of been scouted for air to a certain extent, so you can kind of go with what people have been testing out. I can see it either way, but I personally would like to do a different kind of attack strategy. Coming in on the corner there is always difficult, and the funneling just kind of goes... It goes way south on him. The queen's one way, the king's the other. Uh, only thing in the base is the golems right now. So this attack is pretty much GG from the beginning. But um, just focusing on that jump spell on the top of the base, it is hard to funnel on the corners of the base. Typically, the sides are going to be a little bit easier, especially if you don't have bowlers. I mean, bowlers can be tricky from the sides. I uh, go back to my bowler funneling base or, or my bowler funneling video for more information on funneling bowlers. But basically, uh, if you're just funneling in regular troops like your king, your queen, some golems and stuff like that, the side of the base is easier. Yeah, I mean, if you can just take out you know the buildings with a few wizards, should be okay. But you can see all his lava hounds and balloons have gone down at this point because the kill squad didn't bite off any piece of the base at all really so anyway we'll fast forward to the end here um another nice try the plan i mean all the plans are technically there just sometimes you know the funneling goes wrong and uh, don't get the job done so that'll do it for this one we'll take a look at another two attacks one of which is the three star but first we have to take a look at the last attempt for air on this base um a little bit surprising that we've had so many uh air attempts like i said but you know People do like to try to build on, uh, what number are we, 1243. People do like to try to build on kind of what previous attackers have done. And honestly, that's kind of what the base destruction series is about. But also it's about recognizing when a certain composition is kind of not going to work after a few different attempts from different people. 
But one last look at this, um, dropping down some golems, another similar composition, has um, higher level heroes, so has the potential to get deeper into the base, creating the funnel with the wizards. Um, the king is kind of making his way in. I would have dropped a few more wizards. That king can be kind of a nuisance, and if you only have one wizard working on him, you can see the king got through an entire golem with the help of the point defense. If the king or even the queen, but... Um, especially the queen, I guess. You don't want the queen on your golem. But even the king, if he's on your golem, drop an extra wizard, drop even a valk or something. Take out that king quicker. It'll save you some hit points in your golems and help get the funnel created quicker uh, on that side of the base. So anyway, you can see the king goes in there. The queen is going to stray again, which shows the importance of funneling when you do these hybrid attacks because... Your, your heroes are all you have, really, besides some golos and some wizards. So because the queen goes to the outside, uh, the dragon's not going to go... Or actually, the dragon does go down, but it does so much damage to his ground troops, and the queen's not back there to help out, that once again, only gets one air defense taken out, and from there, the lava hounds just come in, followed by balloons, but really, it's a lost cause because there's three air defenses, plus the queen left up. Um, so you can kind of guess where this one's going to go. Uh, the Lava Hound makes its way through though. Everything actually, the, the deployment's pretty solid, but the Queen is up and that's typically going to be a death sentence because you have to get lucky to a certain extent for the Lava Pups to actually take the Queen out, even if she is only level 15. So things actually get pretty deep into the base, but the Queen is doing some work on his balloons and uh, they just can't move in quite quick enough to take out that air defense. So um, nice try to Colt 45 with the attack. He actually does get that air defense taken out. But the queen is still up. I think he might run out of time, actually. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm kind of forgetting the conclusion of this attack. Yeah, he just has nothing left. The queen pretty much decimated all his balloons and uh, lava pups. So that will do it for this attack. We'll take a look at the three star that finally just kind of said, "Hey, um, you know, this isn't working." Especially uh, for the next attacker, who I believe is, I think it was Iceman. But what, whoever the next attacker was had 30, 30 heroes. And when you have that and the base has low level point defense for Town Hall 9, that is kind of, uh, we can go ahead and back out and just do it right here. That is kind of your clue to go ahead and just bring kind of an overpowering attack. It's actually Ana, um, Ana Bender, taking out this base. And he is doing it with kind of the strategy I was talking about. Doesn't have any P.E.K.K.A.s, but has the Valks. Definitely has some just high... Uh, DPS ground troops he's going to bring. Drops down that queen to start off a queen walk. Going to let her just do a kind of a mini walk, then enter the base with the kill squad, I believe. Uh, so the, there go the healers on her. But yeah, I mean, in general, this is a pretty solid base setup. It might not look like a an anti-three-star base that people are used to, but it gets the job done. The queen actually uh, being in the middle of the base, that's something we might see come back to a certain extent because of hogs, because uh, the queen is one of your your best defenses against hogs, even giant bombs after the nerf, aren't going to be as effective as the queen probably at killing hogs. So because of that, we might see the queen go back into the middle of the base, and uh, people, you know, love to do Laloon attacks, try to come in there, get two air defenses in the queen, but you can see sometimes that's not always the correct way to do it, um, as we've seen by four attackers uh, in this video. So you can see how quickly the troops move through, has the heals, the rages, keeping everything moving, the healers getting the benefit of the rages after the troops move through because they last long enough to get that secondary benefit, which is awesome. Uh, the bowlers are doing work, just kind of a wave of troops going across this base and uh, crushes it. Not a whole lot to it. I mean, just, you know, doesn't bring a jump spell because he doesn't need it. The base is pretty open, uh, lots of access to different parts of it. All the defenses are reachable by most of his troops. So, uh, yeah, crush this base and uh, awesome attack. But that's basically it, guys. Um, not the, you know, not necessarily the, the kind of lesson you have in some of the other base destruction videos. But I think it does illustrate a point that really. Uh, a few things. First of all, if you see a base that has Town Hall 8 level point defense and it's a Town Hall 9, if you have high level heroes especially, but even if your heroes are kind of mid-level, try to do one of these attacks that has Valks, that has Boulders. It's just more reliable than an air attack. Uh, you're not going to be able to overpower a base as much with an air attack. It takes a little more finesse, which, you know, you can, it can be done, but it can be more tricky, and it's not necessary when a base has low level point defense. And finally, if, you know, an attack strategy on a base is failing, uh, you know, two, three times especially, 
really rethink what they're doing because it's not always about building on what the last strategy was. Sometimes the strategy has a potential, sometimes it doesn't. Um, in this video, the, the air attacks on the base, you know, I guess you could argue they did have some potential, but they weren't getting the job done consistently, and that's when you want to switch it up with a new strategy. So hope you guys liked the video, hope it makes sense, and uh, like I said, might not have a video tomorrow because of homecoming, but probably... Uh, Sunday should be back with one or two videos covering the awesome war we're going to be having. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.